you've been thinking for the accurate title to give this video. I don't know the accurate title to use on this video. However, before we commenced on this video, I want the men to leave. Men, please, can you leave us, please? We want to have a, a personal meeting. Men, leave, please. This is for ladies alone, please. Okay, the men have left. Thank you for leaving. Who is that man that is peeping from there? Sir, please leave. Okay, okay. Every man has left this video. Ladies, let's talk. Today's video, I am going to teach us or talk about how you can get your the Yorubas will say Ibijoko, you can sit very well in your husband's house. How you can nullify whatever spiritual that is trying to push you out of your husband's house. I have this video on the channel early last year. Yes, I have the video. And I could remember then when I posted the video, same last year, two people called me and said they used it and their home is restored. Their home is peaceful. I have a couple of video on the channel. I have one that has to do with some um, hibiscus. I wish I can remember the title so I can link it with this video. But before you practice this particular remedy, I want to tell us something as sisters this only works um if what is happening in your home is some um, spiritual you understand not when what is happening is character wise yes you can't because you are doing these things and there is a character you need to work on you're not working on that character and you begin to do these things thinking that it will work. No. These are natural things. This is not juju. Even juju eh, works for some time. You have to keep renewing it. Yes. So, look inwards. Is it, are you the reason why there is no one problem or the other? Yes, and all that. I am not a feminist. Yes, I am not a feminist because the word feminist has been abused by some people. Some people think that the word feminist is when a woman comes out in her home to show her husband that she is the, the word has been abused. So, if there is constant quarrel, no love, no peace in your home, one problem and to the other. Like I say, and you search inward. Now, this is not to give the men power. Sometimes it's, the problem even come from the man. Some of them are... Oh. I am not a married counselor. I beg go. Most of people will say, cheesy, wear the shoe first before you talk. But I am just talking on the little like, no. You understand? All you need to do is... What I am carrying here is none other thing than native salt what i have here again is none other thing than cinnamon now i've come to understand something that even the spiritual things that are done have you have you noticed something that some things that are even done against somebody spiritual eh they only get to actualize by the power of the words take for example some evil uh, some persons will tell another person Oh, this will happen to you. Oh, that will happen to you. And probably those things begin to manifest. It starts with the word. So also, we as human, we should learn how to use our words. A lot of us have gotten a breakthrough through our spoken words. A lot of us have give, uh, refused to give up through our spoken words by the grace of God. Even prayers, you pray, you are letting out your spoken words to God and the universe. 
So some of us have relaxed, some of you rather, sorry, some of you have relaxed in marriage. You don't try to do your own by the power of your spoken words. How do you do this? When you get your salt, if you don't have this native salt, please use any salt you have. Hmm? Use any salt you have. Number one, put it under your tongue and say, no woman, no man, no human, if they drink water, that we, that we all sit me in my home. Eh? Anywhere they do the meat, anywhere they are gathering. If they drink water, put the salt under your tongue. Now, this is not an exercise you just do once and let go. Take it continuously. No one will unseat me in my husband's house. No woman, no man, no, no one will unseat me by the grace of God in my husband's house. Now, let me tell you, when you have that salt under in your tongue, eh? Hit your hand on the ground and speak it three times. Incorporate this spiritual exercise in your destiny. Then again, another way you can do it is take a little salt. Mm? Take a little salt when you are cooking. Even if it's a family meal or for your husband alone, take a little salt. If you have the native salt, fine. If you don't, go ahead with the one you have. And drop it in the food. Everyone eats salt at least. Just a little. And drop it. As you're dropping it in the salt. Before you start dropping it. Put another one under your tongue. As long as my husband eats this food. Call his name. Even if he doesn't eat that food that day. There is nothing. Just keep doing it. As long as my husband eats this food. No woman. No one will sit me in his life. I know some people will say. Oh. His marriage everything. His marriage achievement. Everybody with their own leave some people to carry their marriage yes marriage is an achievement leave it because some people will always attack you why are you troubling yourself about marriage and all that personal opinion please so as you're dropping the salt little with the one under your tongue again no woman no one will unseat me as far as my husband eats, eats this food our love will grow he will love me more. I will love him more. Our children, there will be love in my home. There will be peace in my family. Then, you understand? Just speak. Use your language. No woman. Everywhere it has been done. Everywhere it has been tied. From today, I undone it. Every word that has been spoken in my marriage, against me, in my life, in my home, to unseat me from my marriage, to take away, to take my husband away from me. From today, as long as my husband eats this food, no one, no woman will unseat me. No one, no woman will take my place. No one will send me out of my husband's house, except I decide to, except I voluntarily decide to. Now, why do I use the word, except I decide to? Marriage is beautiful, marriage is sweet, but marriage is not a do or die affair. If you find a reason why you should discontinue, eh, go ahead, especially when it has to do with domestic violence. No one gets an award for dying in marriage. You understand? So that is why you use the word, except you decide to. Even though the Bible says, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. But God will not be happy to hear that you give your life because of marriage. Another thing, even as a Christian, that the Bible acknowledges is infidelity. So, that is personal choice. You understand? Then, what do you do with your cinnamon? Same thing, if you have cinnamon, whenever you are cooking. You know, cinnamon draws love. Cinnamon brings, depending on the, what you speak, the energy you let out when you are doing this spiritual exercise, therein lies the power. You take a Cinnamon is eatable. We use cinnamon to cook our food, to spice our food. You take a little cinnamon, do the same thing. Let the love between me and my husband from today begin to grow. No woman, nobody will seat me from my home. Will seat me from my children's life. Nobody will take, a, will take away my home. Nobody will take away my peace. Nobody will take away my, my space. From today, let the love between myself and my husband begin to work strong. You know, use your words. I'm just giving us example. These are two ways you can use it. 
the other way you can do it is mostly done if you are living in your own um, house that you built you understand if you're living in your own house that you built just dig the ground hmm? just dig the ground as a woman get seven um, seven seeds of alligator pepper dig the ground if your floor your ground outside permits put the seven seed of alligator pepper in the ground and then stand on we oui. <laughs> on the ground the ground that you dig the we oui inside you understand dig the we oui inside the hole and before you cover it you speak no one no woman no thing not like you use your way you understand we unseat me we send me away from my husband's house this is my husband's house this is where i have you understand use your ways now like i said something there are some factors may decide that oh let's go out you understand i am not wishing that on anyone but if such factors come up just let it go you understand what i'm trying to say these things you are doing are for spiritual I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. It's not you're doing it that it will not work like you are making forcing the man. Mm -mm. Is if there is any word outside that is spiritually trying to unseat you, destroy your home. You understand? Not when there is a mutual agreement. Now, if you are doing that of we, uh, you also say except I decide to, because in life no one knows tomorrow. You may decide to that. Uh, for maybe for one reason or the other i don't do it you understand my point but this is just for spiritual exercise not for it doesn't change who um, it doesn't change a man's character or how do i put it it doesn't change a woman's character in that aspect um both parties need to work on it incorporate this um spiritual exercises power of spoken words in your marriage and see God begin to disgrace and fight your enemies and they begin to wonder ah, ah, why is she not leaving for us to come in Kode law if it all on see ah Kode law she cannot leave why would she leave for you to come in so this is spiritual exercise above all Kosara Chuku keep praying to God Almighty he is there is no manual for marriage no manual for marriage what works for a may not work for b so keep praying to god almighty he holds the pillar of every home the heart of a king is in the hands of the lord is it your husband's character and all that commits him to god's hands god is his creator he knows the manual he used in creating him it is only he god that can go and touch those knots that has losing a little sometimes so commit your husband into god's hands pray always outside there is dangerous there are wolves like they are waiting to devote the man you understand because while you are working on the spiritual aspect what about this physical aspect pray always communicate with your man communicate with your husband let there be an open communication always thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you it's none other person but gloria cheesy oh thank you